What's going on, guys? Today, we are doing episode four, I think, of drawings. It's going to be 12 characters. The characters I'm going to be drawing today are going to be the Skull Toilet, the uh, Skibbity uh, Man, Skibbity Human, whatever you want to call it. And we're also going to do a bonus one that a Skibbity Toilet character that I made up myself. It's like a fan Skibbity Toilet. It can, like, push away uh, the camera and, like, suck them in and stuff to, like, get put in the blades and, like, chopped up and stuff. And if we finish all those three early, then I might even do like an extra two or one. So, let's get started with the uh, skull toilet. guys that is the skull toilet here is our reference right over here and here is my try at it I think I did really good on this one I think it looks really accurate to this one obviously sure some things are off maybe the little color maybe I did add some like barf from his acid and stuff but that's fine honestly so what we're gonna be doing guys is I did not mean to open another one of these this guy right here, this little creature. This is gonna be a more of a hard one because I suck at drawing hands and everything. So let's get right into it. But before we do, let's go and save this. Save as image. You can title it Skull Toilet. PNG. All right, open up a new one right there, and then guys, let's get right into it. Thank you. 
right, guys, that is the uh, Skibbity uh, Mutant done. I think I did a really good. I think this is probably like my best one yet. Here is the original, uncolored. And there is like the finished one that I made, just colored. I did like a little blood on his fingers. For some reason, he reminds me of Wario. I don't know why he reminds me of Wario, but he does. This one's probably one of my favorites. So I'll save as image. Mutant 2.0, because that's what I guess he's called. The mutant put, but he's not a, he's not the normal one. That did take me way longer than I expected it to. Since I am editing these videos down to very short times, I bet like, I could do like, a couple more. Plus, I have a wild. Alright. Now we're going to be doing a family one that I made myself during just class. During class, I was just drawing characters. I ran out of ideas, and I just started drawing my own. So let's get this one. It's called the fan, the fan toilet, or the fan skibbity. Called the fan skibbity. Here we go. guys that is the fan toilet its abilities are it can spin its fans to blow away the uh, cameraman or it can reverse the fans to suck the cameraman in and like chop them up with its blades it's a slow it's a more of a slower moving toilet kind of the speed of the soldier toilet that we saw in episode 32 this is the fan toilet it's it can move its arms around that's some like a little detail on its arms. Just like so. Add some quick little lines. There we go. It can like, move, bend its arms around and like move its arms to like corners and stuff to get easier area. Its mouth can is mainly used for close range. And there's like a lot of enemies close to him. He will like open his mouth, activate his fan, and just blow them all away. To be further range to use his main two arms over here. His things are for people that are more like, cause like his fan is used for people that are like right under him. His middle fans are for people that are like right in front of him, like kind of like standing like face to face with him. And he uses the fans to blow on them to push him back a little bit. These two are the most powerful fans right here. These are like the these are the weakest fans, and these are kind. This is kind of in the middle. These, the reason why these actually you know what, this one is mainly used for like kind of like mid range. If someone's like if he's like fighting a titan, he like uses it and it kind of pushes him back a little bit. This is used for like if there's a camera like right over here or something, it just kind of pushes them all back for further range. You can use these two. And since we actually got the done in the quickly, actually, we're going to make another one. Where it's the water scooby toilet. So let's get right into it.
guys, that is the water tank scooby toilet. What it does is that has obviously two gigantic tanks in the back, which hold all of the water. Has two little hoses right here. Those per those are like kind of like a short range, kind of like it's kind of like a far range. Like this is, let's say this is the hose. It kind of goes out to like maybe here. Let's say this is like a building, okay? Let's say this is a thing, and this is a building. So it goes from like there to there almost. So as it has a pretty good distance, but it shoots out like very pressured water to cut through like rock and stuff to just kind of slice the cannon. This gigantic water blaster produces lots of water per second. It also produces like pressure as well. So it, it's basically for long range, just like, like a gun basically. These two things right here, it, when it, it can close its mouth and those tubes are connected to the uh, thing right here. It fills it up, it fills his mouth with water and he just like spits it all over like everything below him. Obviously he has legs, I drew him, I had to draw him like, like squatting down because I drew his head too big as well. And what, if his water things do run out of water, he will go to the nearest like lake or something, like the water source. And he will like, if it's like a lake or like a ocean or something, he'll drown himself in it, open up his lids. He will grab his little tubes and like suction them on and open them up. And then fill with water, close them, and like resubmerge above the above, above water. But if there's like no water source nearby and absolutely nothing, then he will just. And basically, uh, what well, what he does is so he will obviously get the water. If there's no water source, then he just kind of he will just run away until he finds one. Because as soon as he runs out of water, he can detect another water source nearby. Let's say, let's say like the water source is like a fountain or something. He will take his like a uh, little hose, hook it up to where the water is dispensing at, and all the water will go right to the thing. It will go through the tube and into the uh, tank, and he'll just fill it that way. It's much slower, but it's it gets the job done, I guess. So you now. Water tank. But guys, that is it for this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. Peace out. Bye bye.